welcome back to this class in this class we are going to discuss in unit number 10 the rest of the part from the unit number 10 this unit I have divided into two parts the earlier part I have given already this is the next part because the unit is the uh, a little bit bigger one so I hope you are all studying well for the exams please be doing that I will see the first question from thermodynamics the work done by the gas in isothermal expansions in an isothermal expansions we know that delta u is equal to q plus w but in an isothermal expansions delta u is equal to 0 so that w will become this side so minus w is equal to q so on integration w is equal to minus integration from u into v2 p dv on rearranging this we will get minus rt ln v2 by v1 this is one form of equations the next equations when you change instead of the volumes when you rearrange with pressure you will get minus rt long p1 by p2 this equation is very important based on this equations we can expect some calculations for the exams now the second question the work done in the volume of the gas if the volume of the gas increases from v1 to v2 against a constant pressure of gas if it is increases against a constant pressure gas the external pressure is same it is not increasing in that case the work done will be w is equal to minus p external it's a constant pressure p into v2 minus v1 this is a change in pressure from v1 to v2 it is increasing so it is given in the minus it means if the sign in the minus shows that the work is done by the system so the next question is if it is positive the work is done on the system if it is negative the work is done by the system so the next question is this is the third question the work done in an adiabatic expansions we can also expect question based on this concept in an adiabatic expansions w is equal to in an adiabatic, adiabatic expansions w is equal to delta u is equal to cv into t2 minus t1 because this is an expansion work cv into t2 minus t1 temperature increases from t1 to t2 now next the next question in the given condition the work done in isothermal expansion in an isothermal expansions is a dash than the work done in an adiabatic expansion there are two conditions are given here isothermal expansions and an adiabatic expansions the work done in both the expansions at a given conditions because in an isothermal expansion is always greater than the work done in an adiabatic expansion. This you can get it from the graph. In this graph, if you see, this is the pressure increases in the y axis, this is the volume in the uh, x axis, this is the initial volume, this is the adiabatic expansion volume, this is the isothermal expansion volume. In this case, the work done by the system is A. E F D is a work done by the system it's smaller than the in an adiabatic expansion is smaller than the isothermal expansion A B C D this is the work done in an isothermal expansion so the work is done in an adiabatic expansion is lower than the isothermal expansions based on these concepts questions have been asked so it is better to remember this and learn this equations now the next question is the joule thomson this is the fifth question the joule thomson effect is dash in an ideal gas joule thomson effect is dash in an ideal gas in a joule thomson effect q is equal to zero when an ideal gas expands into vacuum there is neither absorptions absorptions nor an evolution of gas so there is no absorption or evolution of gas so q is equal to zero in a joule thomson expansions questions are asked based on these concepts next question our constant temperature and pressure our constant temperature and pressure sigma ni mu i is equal to zero it is a gives du home equations are constant constant temperature and pressure sigma ni a du i is equal to zero this is an important one next next is delta g is equal to dou g by dou t 
at constant pressure and E and this is the number of particles. If the number of particles is same, delta G by dou G, dou G by dou T at constant pressure and E n is equal to dash. So we know that from the equation delta G, DG is equal to VDP minus SDT. This is a basic equations. We should remember these things before the exams. When you are integrating, differentiating this DG with respect to DT at constant pressure and numbers numbers here number is not there but at constant pressure this dp change in dp will become zero so this whole term vdp will become zero because at constant differentiate differentiating with respect to p at constant with respect to p at constant pressure it will become zero and on differentiating with respect to dt the dt will get cancelled so minus s will become the will become here so dg by dou g by dou t at constant pressure and numbers is equal to 0 minus s is equal to s. So this is a very important one. The next is, is the next one. dg by dp at constant temperature and n. n is the number of particles. t is the constant temperature. This we know that already dg is equal to vdp minus s dt. So dg is equal to when you are differentiating respect to pressure at constant temperature that means at constant temperature dt will become zero so this whole term will become zero here and differentiating with respect to dp this term will become v here so dou g by dou t at constant temperature numbers will become v plus zero is equal to v so these are the important points so next the criteria for spontaneity of the process this criteria of spontaneity of the process these spontaneity criteria is given based on the entropy of the systems entropy that means in a spontaneous process entropy is always increasing that means delta s system is greater than zero delta s surrounding is greater than zero delta s system plus surrounding is greater than zero delta s system minus delta s surrounding is greater than zero so that means both the delta s system and delta s surrounding is greater than zero is the criteria for the spontaneity of the process it should be increased so this is the third one is the right option for that one so both the uh, system and surrounding entropy should increase for a spontaneity process now the next question is for an ideal gas following adiabatic reversible expansion it is following adiabatic reversible expansion the plot of log p versus log v the slope of the equation they have asked in a plot of log p versus log v it will be like that log p versus log v it gives a negative slopes it is equivalent to minus gamma that means cp by cv is the uh, gamma it should be minus negative for a log p versus log v the slope will be minus negative now the next question is choose the correct criteria of spontaneity in terms of properties of the system done so the properties are given this again it is based on the entropy of the system the entropy uv is greater than zero in a in a spontaneous process delta s s should always increases and it is a property at constant u and v process it is a u and v process it should always increase as is not a temperature and pressure process temperature and pressure process is a delta g if delta g at constant temperature and pressure is less than zero it is a spontaneous process so this is a wrong one and delta s at constant enth enthalpy and pressure is less than zero this is also wrong one but this one delta g at constant temperature and volume is less than zero this is also wrong but instead of that delta g at constant temperature and pressure is less than zero is a spontaneous process so this is the right one delta s uv is greater than zero is the right option for this questions so far we have seen some important points from the thermodynamics point of view i have given all these informations only for the examination point of view so it is better to read more and more points, more and solve more and more questions, you will get more confidence. So thank you so much for watching this session. Thank you.